And welcome back everybody to what I... Yeah, this is gonna be the fourth match of today in the group B of the Mountain Trail Challenge. Five, this match will be between Scary Faces and Game Online. So far both teams are down by one. Reserve because time. LC just looks so strong and they have been able to take be all the games since so far. Diet. Well, what do you think? Who's gonna win this one, Morality? Hard to say, really. I mean, both teams lost against London Conspiracy, so there's nothing much you could say about that. I believe... Well, I'm not even sure, to be honest. Storm Spirit! Let's see, E-Battle says that... Scary Phases will win with 56% and will lose with... And Game Online will win with 44% to win chance. Well then. So... I'm not gonna say... I'm still not gonna say... I think this game is gonna be pretty easy. Uh, even. Yeah, definitely. These two are fair. These two are really uh, close to each other, I want to say. Scary Phase is maybe a little bit more well, well known because of Experience, their match. maybe? Because a game online was formed pretty recently. Bad Rider! Uh, Radiant let's... Team ban. What do we have so far? We already have a. Well, for a game online, they actually Dyer pick up the Magnus ban. again. And a Bat Rider this time, though, so. Yeah. More initiation. We say. Because the Magnus blink timing was really bad last time than yeah. he did now. But Scary Faces will pick up a Chen and a Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit mid, of course, is very good. And the Chen, Alba, oh, Chen is Chen. What's that to say about Chen? <laughs> Jungler. Jungler, Micro. push here. Micro. Noble Presence. Hand of God. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. And of course the IO ban's coming out. I believe right now we've had an almost 100% IO ban rate, I believe. I'm not, I'm not yeah. even sure. Even yesterday, every game he gets banned. No IO. For anyone. He... No. You don't deserve it. A... Yay, I mean a PA is a carry, but... Uh... With Magnus? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's really you obvious. Huge, you still need huge crits, though. You will get them because of the Magnus. Hmm. I'm, I'm just speaking from experience. I I feel like every time I play PA, my crits come like three hits too late. Five seconds remaining. In pro though, that you always get the RNG when you need it. Or you get yeah. I'm most just of the time. need enough skill, hardy ha ha. Yeah. Well, hire an MMR who hire your chance, of course. Nobody actually knows that. There's a secret mechanic in the default coding for Dota 2. Well, anyway. <laughs> and the Luna Ben. I'm guessing. I don't, I don't think Luna is still pretty balanced this patch. Feels pretty balanced. Yeah, I don't think the solar eclipse with the Aghanims, I don't really think that makes the biggest difference. I mean, it's very good in, on, on initiators if you can click it onto an initiate, but it's like. Uh, yeah, um, if you can do that, but the problem is. You need an Aghanim! Yeah. It does help him a lot because he's, of course, low on HP and stuff, so it helps him things up a little bit. But, uh, you want it over a BKB? Yeah. Over BKB, over like a satanic, over the Manta. Cardi. You really want an Agnim? Yeah, you really want an Agnim? You sure about that? Think about it. Think it over for a second. Like, you're usually going to be playing Luna as a hard carry, aren't you? Mm, or middle. Or Where's middle, you? yeah. So, oh, cool. Let's put it that way. Lion ban. I haven't actually seen Lion a lot. A lot. I mean, I would assume he'd still be picked because he is a versatile support. He's always such a strong support. It's and it's... they ban out the Ventral as well, just just saying quickly, Ventral and Lion both used to be top tier supports last patch, and they probably still are, but they're just not getting picked. Or they're getting banned. Yeah, that's the point. So that means that they actually didn't change, but I don't think any of them received any changes so far, so... Ventral received a change? I thought I saw something about Ventral. Let's have a look. Quick. Yeah, you go check that, and I'll talk about Rubik, why I like Rubik, because it's <laughs> Rubik. Look at this, my guest is inside showing up here. But now, if you can wait Rubik, if you can just steal the lasso, which is actually quite easy to do if you're not the one getting lassoed or an RP. It's a little bit harder, but you're still able to steal that one as well. Again, if you're not caught into this, and it just opens up so many plays to be made. Like, if you have a blink tag yourself, you steal lasso, you blink in, or you can even blink onto the bed right and drag him back. Like, that would just be such a fun play to make. Ah, oh, well. See, that's Rubik for you. And, no changes? Uh, not on Venno, nor on, uh, not on Vengeful, nor on Lion. Does so Rubik have any changes? I think he does. Yep. Yeah, it's not works and creeps. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. 
Yeah, that's it. Not much needed to be changed on I mean, I believe. I think Null Field could have a rework, to be honest. Null Field is such a weird spell where it's like... The magic resistance is nice and all, but... Uh, like, you don't want to... <laughs> eh. Yeah, I get Not it. Not unique in any way. Not really... You know... Yeah. I get it. <laughs> so, Witch Doctor. Again. We've seen it picked a lot as well because I'm, I'm mainly guessing just Death Ward. It's just such a strong hero anyway. Yeah. Like if you get the Death Ward off, it's great. Malefist helps your like, team so much. Melodic. Why the hell do I call it Malefist? What the fuck is wrong with me? Melodic does so much for your team and the Gask is just so annoying. Only problem is you have Gen Creeps now, so they will be able to Five bounce around those. Raining. Yep. That's the only the problem, but still, I mean, we saw what happened. Oh, yes. Radiant team pick. Another one of my. Another one of my heroes that I like seeing a lot. I like playing him a lot, actually, as well. I think he was changed as well. No, he wasn't. Mm -hmm. Still, I BL mean, stayed the same. But still, yeah, has, I, I mean, yeah. Proves that I don't think his his balance isn't that isn't bad. It's that's okay. But again, I if really you don't, like seeing a BL. If you don't get buffed, you're always nerfed. Oh, I That's guess. Room. Yes, but still. The PL. He's an early fighter. If you can get a fast diffuser blade, he's able to put out a lot of pressure. Witch Doctor will be very fast to sword. Magnus has to look out, Bad Rider. He can get slowed by the diffuser blade, so if he doesn't get a fast four staff, he has a little bit of a problem there as well. Of course, the instant lift from Rubik, I forgot to tell that, is really good. Same works for Magnus. Like, if you blink in and you don't get it up straight away, your skills here might be in a little bit of a pickle. Like, um, so I didn't get it off straight away. Well, Rubik's gonna lift me up, and Phantom Lamps is gonna start hitting on me. Storm Spirit's gonna start hitting on me, and Chen's just gonna stand there <laughs> and wait for you to drop, so he can start, so he can just stun lock you. Jeez. So, because you know, he's always got a sent tower with him. Or what is it? Uh, a nice net to throw at you with the troll uh, summoners. Oh yeah, and you can now take over those goddamn. They've got them immune got mud golems now. No, oh, fifty per anymore. fifty percent magic resistance got them with golems. Yeah, That's... sixty fifty percent magic resistance and if they die, stun. if you yeah. die, you get two smaller bags that are on a timer, so they're like summons, and they Five also have the same stun. Remaining. Yeah, I know that. So it's like, oh wait, so I can just throw out this stun. Great, Reserved more time. stuns for Chen. It's 0 0.6 seconds stun though, but this is enough to cancel TPs, it will slow you down a little. And the Juggernaut picked up again once uh, once again by goal. They yeah, just love their Magnus Jugger combo. We'll see if I there will be works, a good but... RP this game, because last game it was a little bit lackluster on the RPs. I mean, they couldn't do anything, they just they, they couldn't just jump, they couldn't jump in with the Magnus. They had to, They, they the, the blink came just so late that... Why? They're already so far behind. But I don't yeah. think there will be an early rush by any of these two teams, so... No. No. <laughs> I don't think... They're gonna try and go rush. I don't Because last so. game was interesting. Because last game was very interesting. <laughs> that level 1 rush pretty much made the game. Yeah, well at least it gave them such an early advantage that you could just keep on rolling on that and win the game off it, but... And I mean, AA Ben. They just don't want to see him. Yeah, they picked it up uh, last game though, but it, it did some work for them in the early game. Have to at least get some return ready. kills on uh, the Beastmaster. Yeah. And of course, with to get versus the Luna, but the Storm Spirit just blew him up all the time. Rocket Man as well, him. and that makes sense because I don't see too many offlaners with scary faces. They don't have any offlaners so far now, yeah. and that's a really strong hero. It's good to counter initiate on the Bad Rider. We all know, and we all know, like, remember that base camp final where the Dockwork was just picked over and over again? Oh yeah, that did work. But I don't think it's gonna, I don't think something like that's gonna happen here, because... No, I think they're gonna might even pick off Centaur here. Seconds remaining. They have three oh yeah, that's, def that's definitely also a nice offlaner. Yeah, they have like, they have three melee anyway, uh, three that's range anyway, time. so they're free to pick up a uh, melee offlaner here without hurting them too much. It will help yeah, the position. But will it make sense spirit versus... Breaker. No, they pick up a Spirit Breaker. Okay. Team pick. Yeah, well, they're missing the Dark Seer or they were taking a book out of... a uh, page out of the book of Hey Hey. 
Which is uh, Spirit Breaker. It does get picked up. Yesterday we had actually two matches with Spirit Breaker in it. Oh no, once was banned even. I don't even know. It was so weird. But Spirit Breaker, he has been valued by some teams a lot. Like, they pick it. I, I mean, it's... Like, we've seen it. We've seen him rise a bit. A bit more in the last few games, especially in the last meta, because we saw oh, him actually round. have um, quite an effect. The thing is, though, um, no longer restricted from buying Bash from Abyssal. Um, and the Empowering Haze cooldown doesn't really matter, though, too much. Although, no longer, longer being restricted to buying Bash from Abyssal might be some useful, but those two items are mid late game, so I don't think it's that much of a change. Well, the change is that you can buy them, eh, but it won't activate uh, the bash, passive yeah. bash, so you will only only the episode is actually useful. That's just how yeah. it goes. So, late game item, so it's not going to see that much of a change, but still, it's Spirit Breaker, it's a global presence. And, and they pick annoying. up the Disruptor, of course, because... It's going to be the offlane as well, Spirit Breaker, but I think, yeah, with the Disruptor there, that's, he's not going to have a good time. You need to make sure that the disruptor is always not where you want to gank, which is Tough. not always easy. Not always easy. And even if you're on the lane, he can glimpse you back to your old position, so you won't like that. Yeah. But now we have the complimentary pass. Let's do some introductions. So we have on game online we have Desolan playing the Bad Rider. We have Pelican playing the Witch Doctor. We have first no, Frogsnack again on the <clears throat> sorry again on the Juggernaut. We have Excalibur playing the Magnus, and we have Shiroshi playing the Disruptor. All right, and to the side of scary faces, we have Shadow Bay, who's not loaded in yet, playing. What was it? Ah, uh, Storm Spirit, exactly. No, no. Storm Spirit. Try again. One more try. Did I say it? Come on, you know it. Hang on a second. It was Chen. Yes, Chen. God's sakes. All right, Quista playing Phantom Lancer. Eknar playing Rubik. State Twenty One playing Storm Spirit. No, they playing Spirit. Break. Oh, I should. I should. I'm. I'm well, how did I forget Chen? Boo. Damn it. Boo. <laughs> we do see the uh, the immortal again on the <coughs> on the Magnus here. So this one. Hang on a sec. Well, you can only market it after uh, September one. Okay. Well, we have the time anyway with the teams all waiting here on to end the pass. Um, I want to remind everybody we are having a giveaway after the last match on 10 May of the group stages We will be handing or gifting might be the better way to saying it a night stalker bundle to uh, Well one of the followers of our Swiss CEN channel So guys make sure that you follow us there to be eligible for winning the night stalker new immortal bundle as well as we want to thank our sponsors to to well, well to let us have this tournament. We have five thousand euros as a prize pool, of which three thousand goes to number one, fifteen hundred to the number two, and five hundred to the uh, third place. Our sponsors are uh, HyperX, Intel, Asus, Republic of Gamers, and eBattle. And that was all the public service announcements. Well, Shadow is now finally back into the game and he will pick up his chat shortly. Well then. Also, shout out to the chat mods, namely Venomax, who has been doing a lovely <laughs> lovely job of moderating the chat. So Yeah. I'm just moderating more people who are like answering questions to people and being nice. So guys, if you are getting moderated, just know why I like you. That's why you are. Also, please don't ban people if you are moderated. <laughs> If you do, we'll, we might just take away your mod rights. We probably will take away your mod rights. We will take you away. Unless if they're spamming or something stupid like that, I feel... Yeah, they feel free. But yeah, just leave the... Let's keep the chat happy and... Back clean, folks. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> back to the match. <laughs> and now back to you. Uh, wherever you are. Yeah. I do like the new, uh, the new Immortal on, uh, on Magnus. Looks really cool. I need to finally get my I need to get my compendium, but uh, I'm a poor boy, unfortunately. <laughs> You're lying. You're from Swiss. You have all this cash, all the gold. Right. Don't lie. hidden in the bank. Yes, yeah. yes. That is a very interesting hammer. Yeah, have you seen the interactions with it, or the interactions, the uh, animation? Really? Have you seen that? No. Nope. All the immortals. Yeah, no. Probably should have a look at it. Yeah, you can look in the companion anyway, you will be able to see it there. Hey, even if I don't have it? Yeah, okay. you can look into the companion. 
Always. Oh. Hey man, you're learning stuff with me here. <laughs> but yeah, this will be just a trade off of runes. Save every save lane will get their own. Hunt a man or woman up. See, this one goes to state 21, and the other one goes to way of Magnus, so it's just all even here. Even Steven. Into the valley of death. Hey, anyway. Uh, they're, lo they're laughing at you in the chat. <laughs> For missing Chen. Yes, I am sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Twitch has flame. Flame him. No. Thank you. No, no whatever. <laughs> it's a mistake. It's a mistake. Oh crap. Yeah, no. No, I'm joking. Don't of make course, shit happens. <laughs> Sometimes you have jet lag from 15 hours of flight. Yes, it happens. Oh. Yes, I'm not EG. You can step off a plane. Uh, one who can play a game one hour after getting off a, ga a plane and win against secret. No, I'm not EG. <laughs> Wasn't that Fiji as well? No, they played oh. versus Lions or something else in the first. Match. Wasn't it? I, I thought it was like one. They got off like one hour after a fight, and they won it. Like one more game. It was. It was pretty interesting. It was pretty good. You talk about Star Letter? I think so. Yeah. It's VG. Ah, oh, VG. But it was just when I had internet where I was. <laughs> it still looks sweet. Oh wow, that's a pretty nice animation. Yeah, you finally see it. But Worldling Ripper is here to help it out with the tornado over here. It will just be so annoying for Scalibur. He doesn't have. Does he have? Bullet growing? Yeah, I thought so. Even Oleg, he's already getting a second level here. So it's not that... It's not going that bad for him over here. Oh, but Chen... Oh, no, oh, look at the Zedler, and he's taking a lot of damage here. They need a little bit more to end him, but... I think he's going back. Well, one Spare Lance is dead. Whoa, whoa, one, yeah, one Spare Lance is... Oh, he could be in range now. He's in range now. Get to now get he... it off. Yeah. Why does he have an animation chain? Oh, and here comes the Spirit Break, yeah. Going on Excalibur, they're gonna dive here and... Nope, what? Okay, he probably didn't want, to dive. He didn't want to dive the tier 2 way. Yeah, no, it's no. still good, I mean... Excalibur's level 3 and stuff, but it's about to reach level 4, he's just reached level 4. Oh man, the animation, I just love it so... So cool. I still find it weird though that he's actually stabbing with a freaking hammer. What, that he has a hammer? No, he has a hammer and he's stabbing with it, it's like, what the heck? Oh, he punches it on the ground. No, 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 look, 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 just, just... Watch him when he's laning. Laning, he's not laning, but when he's laning. Yeah, when he uses it again, I don't think he will use it on a rune here, that would just be out. <laughs> and yeah, they're actually all just coming down to still match against the lane. He will try to, you know, block this pool, maybe try to keep it. Yeah, there you go, he will take the creeps back to the lane. Not really a lot that uh, Agnard can do against this. This tornado is annoying for Zix Calibur. Let's see, when will he use it? See, it's on the ground. Hang on, just just, 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 just watch it a bit more. He, I mean, it does go on the ground, like the standard... Okay, the there you go. Well. They go on top, they go at the and they're diving behind the table tower. The Fireflies are already out there, though, but they still keep on seeing here. There's not enough damage here right now. And, oh, ah, no, there's the Fade Ball end again. But he's taking a lot of damage from creeps. It looks like he's actually gonna die to Witch Doctor this time. What? What are they doing here? Kes, kiss here! A double kill! Oh! Double kill! Okay, he didn't get the double kill uh, there. Yeah, he's got by creeps, but still, it's a uh, gold. And the other one actually went away with Bad Rider, so he won't get any. Oh. He got the support gold, which. Still worth it. Still worth it. It's something. Yeah. He gets XP as well, and that's really big for him. He's already level 4 now because of it. Yeah, the same level as the Phantom Lancer. Yeah, now he's probably the high, he's the highest level support right now. Malefic, Maledict? Oh no, misses on PR. He storms for it. He's almost he's getting up to level six very fast right now. He's a, almost a full level ahead on the uh, Excalibur. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad for Excalibur. Um, I do have an Infus Rune bot. I think yeah, Magnus will take this. We might try for a skewer. Behind uh, Storm Spirit, but he will have level 6 before he's there, so. It's gonna be a tough kill to get still. So. Yeah, the Storm Spirit can just zip out from this. Yeah. That's the problem. And, like, they really need to lock him down with everything they have. Yeah, and even then. He's even already then. too late, he didn't use it. Did they don't even. Oh, what is Excalibur doing? Yeah, he gets he him! Does. What? Excalibur, that was a bit of a misplay, man. 
And he could even get the Batrider now, but no, no. he's got no enough mana. They're gonna get state D. 21 back, but yeah, now what? They have to follow up. The Spirit Breaker is coming in here after Wizard Roji. Oh, and he's not even walking towards the tower. No, oh no. Now this is gonna be a problem. State is also walking in there. He will have enough mana to zip one centimeter, but it doesn't matter. Okay, there's gonna be Magnus back. Scalibur, what can he do? He will just throw out a casual uh, shock oh, wave. And there we go. Dead will shock them. Yeah, he can solo lane versus this. That's no. asking too much from him. It's the lift. It's the Phantom, the Spirit Lance, and just, you know, it's and then Phantom just a few casual art hits. Fade Bolt from Rubik, of course, to just make sure that he's finished off before he can do too much damage. Like, Fred the Cask, and he might have survived, but he didn't have any chance to, so. And even then, will he have survived? <laughs> no, because Phantom Rush. Yeah, like, he, he will be followed again, and Doppelganger, and just everything on him. He's such an annoying hero, and he's already level 6 now as well. Annoying. He's less annoying than he was before, I like to remind of him. I like to remind that to people. It's like, you remember when 6 TI3? You remember when he was like... No, coming I, at I, you with all those illusions? I think he's more annoying right now, for the reason of Doppelganger. Yeah, but I mean, it's like... Yeah, well, I guess. Uh, it's awesome. of course El Personal Burst Fear. And there you go, they go on Pelican again. There's gonna be lift as well. I don't even they don't even need Spear Breaker here. But oh, he we will be there. coming there. Jiroji, he's doing a lot of damage to Quista, but he will be able to get out of here with the uh, with the doppelganger. Of course and this he goes back in. No, you see the TP, so back off. And oh what? Oh you have to look out a little bit here, Oleg. He'll try to turn this one around on you. They do have to yeah, put some bad rider. He needs to he needs to survive for six seconds. And they don't, he doesn't have lasso yet. Though, they don't so. have glimpse or lasso, yeah. So they can't really do anything about it. And who stayed 21 is still fine here over I thought they were going onto him. I mean, they saw. Oh, now they are. And yeah, there you no go. He's dead. So Zedlin is actually. <laughs> Look at how slow state 21 is turning around. There's going to be a couple of badges, and that will secure the kill on him. No glimpse yet. He does have a sta uh, yeah, kinetic field, but it won't be it won't be put down. And, and this is a snowballing storm spirit. Dyer's bottom um, tower is under attack. They do have frost uh, frost neck, farming it up. Still, it's frost neck versus. It's going to be. I mean, he already has spawn. He's going to get his mom soon though. But storm spirit is going to get everything earlier. That's the problem. This true. He's already fairly well in his well not fairly well in his way he, he gets his magic stick now and he will start building towards an orchid and here's the other thing it's that PL already has two kills under his belt as well as an assist he's been farming top lane pretty extensively uh, and if he looks the gank on Ross now. oh yeah they're going in there yeah there you go that's gonna be the best what le oh it's still only level one. Oh, oh he's trying to turn this around with only slash yeah that won't he won't get the kill on Oleg and he will instead just be killed by uh, state 21 okay yeah fine from the goal from the XP difference I mean it's level seven on uh, um, Juggernaut, while it's a level 6 on a level, well, that level's on the PL, and thanks to that kill, he's probably going to be behind that. Juggernaut's not going to be behind. But, no, PL has two kills on this belt, while Juggernaut just died once. Yeah, well, Juggernaut was actually ahead on net worth. And now, but he ain't. now he ain't because he just died. Still 73 gold, he can probably really easily farm that up, but still, PL. Well, it will be more because he's still dead. <laughs> yeah. And there you go, look at this, stage 21 just catching out Zedlin. In the jungle. And he's already on a six kill streak. And they try to go for Questa here right now, but yeah, no, they won't. Like they go don't have Omni Slash. Yes, he does. Uh, oh, no. out, trying to Excalibur. Hit. And DD hit, yeah, it's enough. But overpower. Or overload. And a Questa. Yeah, this is the snowballing here on scary phases. Eleven two. Nothing going the way of goal right now. Yeah, Those skills were actually used during that fight. Just noticed. Actually, no, there. No, wait, that was my. That was my. That was my fight recap. Buddy. Yeah, my, I had the same. I tried to look as well. But look at the net worth already. It's already over 5k ahead before 10 minutes. Of scary faces and XP is just over the 4k mark. Green dude's top thing is about to get like Rubik already can steal skills, and he actually stole Shockwave, a really strong ability right now. He's doing a lot of damage. Oh, but here's the. Oh, oh, there's gonna be the oh, death ward on nice. oh, Questa, but is he gonna die to this? Malefic Maledict is not doing a lot of damage here. He's gonna survive. Not worth it. Oh, just, just not worth it. Oh, and Use they that even... death ward there. 
Yeah, and they even denied the bot tower with Oleg. So this very good. Very good. And Chen, he has nearly done nothing his entire match, but he didn't have to do anything so far. He got his his mecha completed. Right now, pre 10 minutes, and they can actually start pushing down towers fairly effectively with this. Yeah, this is a good Chen game so far because he hasn't <laughs> had to do anything. <laughs> Just standing back, he hasn't even gusted. Uh, didn't even, he hasn't even stolen any creeps yet. <laughs> he didn't even have to use Hand of God, he just harassed middle just a little stole, bit. He stole wind, Wild Wing Ripple and that's it. Yeah. He's just farming up these creep caps. Yeah, he's just using... He also used it, of course, to form... Oh no, they yes. go on Excalibur again. There's gonna be Zip in. They do have, however, static forming kinetic field. And then actually the Keskis bouncing are fairly good as well. It's gonna be the Hand of God. Skewer back. Wow. Oh, the kill of uh, Storm here, State 21 Pelicans. But yeah, there's actually a sealed Agnord. Uh, Deathward on Agnard, zoning them out. And here's PL now coming in. Probably wants to clean some stuff up, but uh, yeah. He will keep on going. He's gonna find Zerosia here. But these are gonna use Kinetic Cube. Oh no. Are they actually gonna charge into this? Are they gonna. The. I almost thought, like. It does are these not... gonna actually drive a tier 2 here? <laughs> yeah, that might have been a little bit more. Uh, too much of the OPL. Yeah. But they uh, just take the tier 1. I'm back off. But looks like we can't even take the tier 1 right now. No, Excalibur took his in there. He still but... doesn't have the best timing of his. He won't have the best timing here either for his uh, first blade. And actually, Empower stolen, so now there's a there's some nice damage going there for uh, for the PL. Oh my god. They're still gonna lose this, yeah. They're gonna lose this. Ah, uh, the fortification. I mean, just throw it out because it's gonna reset anyway. Yeah, why not? There you go. Oh! Deadly enough, the tower was taken by the siege creep over here. So. That's. That sucks. Like, oh no! Gloop's back, but no. Nope. Oh, it's doppelganger. Just at the last. It's a doppelganger, man. It's so hard to doppelganger. And this would just, you know, they will just keep on increasing on their advantage here right now. Build up on it. Get get items on your cores. Get items on your supports if you have to. I mean, you don't even have to. Rubik's getting a cloak. Do you think he's gonna get a glimmer plate? Yeah, if you get a cloak, you get a glimmer plate. Yeah. Well, that's new because usually if you got a cloak early, you would be getting a um, what's it called? Hood. Yeah. Well, that was the only item you could make with it. Yeah. So, cool. Yeah. Yes. Into, into, into what's it called, Pipe of Insight, exactly. Yeah. But now you can get the Glimmer Cake for so much less. 1950 affordable, it makes you invisible, it gives you that magic resistance, so it's kind of a, it's a oh, very no. good item. They have a blink, oh, they're getting state 21 here, and they are gonna, yeah, they're gonna put a lot of ultimates down here. They use less to get it with uh, Static Storm to get in. Yeah. And so it's worth it. Oh, Escalibur, he still does have his RP though. He's looking for Questa here, but oh no, I think he's just gonna get turned around on. They need to TP in many heroes straight away. There's gonna be the charge RP. Well, that's not gonna be used here right now. Three TPs are coming in. Him, but now we already oh, have Rubik. Rubik. they're all there already right now. This is gonna. I think this is gonna be a lost fight going the way of uh, of goal because look at this. There's only two supports here left. There you go. One falls, two falls for that. Like this was going in one by one, and that's just not what you're supposed to do here. Should have just, you should have kept everyone on the back line, maybe TP in for the tier 2, second tier 1 for that, but okay. You could have set up a much better fight there. Yeah, maybe after the tier 1 fell, you could have done something. You know, after Excalibur died, you should have given up there. Yeah. Because it's something and, you're oh, oh my god. I just, I was there a little bit too late. Day 21, got another solo kill on Bad Rider. Essentially, five heroes dead. And now they're gonna transition this into Rush. Okay, after Drum Aquila, PL is now going for his refusal blade. So, well, it's like what you usually want to see on a PL. Get that early defusal blade and suddenly you're, well, early. Still, get that defusal blade and you got what you want. But it is a pre defusal blade. It's pre 20 minutes, it's already after he's got drunk on Aquila, so. Uh, but they do have a. Uh, 15 minute pickup on the Orchid for Storm and he's walking towards wow. the Rush Pit now so he will just start going crazy he will get a bunch of solo kills and doesn't have to care about anything anymore <laughs> Immortality is mine. Yes. Yeah. and the Auras already as well as Auras from the Sven he, he uh, Sven, Chen he doesn't actually have any stuns apart from the um, 
shard golems right now and they're going to time out so he's just going full aura here I believe. Yeah, attack speed and a little bit of arm, uh, plus three armor from the Weldling Rippers. So. That's nice. Uh, no, he, well, has the push. he has the net, he has the net, but that's it. That's enough, that helps you with your push as well with uh, yeah. you know, summoning those skelet skeletons. Raise death is the exact name of it. I actually didn't know it. I almost just called it some skeletons. And they're, they they can't contest it. Look at it. Excalibur. 300 gold off. 300 gold off. Very bad blink timing. It's not. They're trying not very to. Very bad. It's a bad bit. It's still the hour. They're at least raiding the tier 1 on top for this. Yeah. Middle. Well, they got another fortification for it if it needs be. And they're just gonna put in some damage here on the tier 3 on bottom. Like, they're not in position yet to defend this. So, this is already half of the tower down. They only have a blink here on Bedride. Excalibur just bought his. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, that almost went wrong because of the Wildling Ripper tornado there. Wow. I was always expecting that to be from there. I have to blink there. Uh, I have to have that. Yeah. He almost screwed okay. it up there. Yeah, you were expecting it. Wildling Ripper, his tornado gets cancelled now. But they of course, have another one. Hey, there's gonna be a charge on Z on T. He's gonna dive first. Now they're gonna go on Excalibur here. Look at his, his storm zipping around with the DD. Excalibur is going to die now as well. There's also going to be death on Frog's Neck. Uh, buyback coming out from him. They actually lose this Disruptor now as well. There's going to be the Omni Slash, but he just kills off the Aegis here. And now what? He's a little bit alone. He can he can go back to the base now, but they're going to lose their Rex here as well as 4 death. There's actually 5 death plus a buyback. Damage done. XP change and gold change. That is... Uh down to 20,000 gold deep, as I've said. And XP lead is also looking like 12,000, so. And they're huge just. Leads. Yeah, they're just gonna reset right now. They're sending back their. Uh, but BL. BL doesn't even care! What? He was. They even used lasso. What the heck? He was uh, sent back to base, actually. Well, that, that just got stopped, but now he uh, he's alone. They're gonna use RP Death War. What? He's actually drawn outside of the Death War range. That's not what he was supposed to do. He's trying to turn this one around, but it won't work. I think that skewer could have been a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, like short. right into the death four. Just make sure he actually dies, and yeah. you have to walk over there and kill him outside of death four. Okay. But you know, he was already dead, anyway, so maybe it was that extra damage there. And Guardian's Greaves are now up on um, Ben. That's another new item. Yes, Shadow, he got it. Yeah. But the one problem is, it's nice because now you have a mecha that essentially doesn't cost you any mana, so. Oh and yeah, it doesn't cost any mana, what the heck? <laughs> and it, it obviously gives everybody mana plus HP while it costs you essentially nothing. The only nice. thing is now is he has one slot used out of the possible six. So you could say it's a little bit early maybe to pick it up and you could fill some other slots up before. I but, guess. But yeah, it's fine to get it. I, I assume we will be going into a mecha, uh, mecha into a now. You know what though, it's a 45 second cooldown on these boots are even less than both mech. I know, is mech 45? I'm not even sure. No, it's uh, one minute. Yeah, it's one minute. And mana boots, which is 55. That's true. So, it's, so it's, it's, a, it's, it's an upgrade, but it does cost you a lot of money. The recipe is 1850. So it's, yeah, it's money that you sometimes just don't have. But they're going for Frog's Neck here on both. He does have it now, so I'm guessing it's a good pick off. They yeah. actually cancelled the charge. Well, they probably just, you know, wanted to get somewhere. <laughs> Yeah. Glimmer Cap is actually done as well. PKB is now done by Oleg. Let's see, there's gonna be a Bloodstone up fairly soon for uh, State 21. Uh, that's a very early Bloodstone as well, actually. Yeah, still. Oh. Even Don't with having the, uh, the, er what is it? the, uh, the Orchid before, Orchid. it's still already so fast. Oh no, look at that long range Nether Strike coming on Excalibur. He's gonna die right now. Zedalen, he's now gonna get caught out. He's gonna die here as well. This is the next state. Oh no, he's actually gonna survive. Omni Slash is here. Frog Snack is able to get anybody. No, he's just gonna die here. They use Hand of God. There's already three deaths. And GG call back Excalibur. They're just gonna charge in again here. It's already four dead now. They also got the Witch Doctor Zeroji. Is he gonna die before this Ancient explodes? Yes, he is. Ultra Kill got in the way. The static field was completely worth in that fight. Yeah, it wasn't on place. I didn't yeah. think they. But still, considering the gold XP and the kill lead, it's hard to imagine anything could have gone the way of game online in yeah, that fight. Then you had to have like the perfect combination of spells there, which is possible, but really, is it gonna happen though? Nah, I don't think so. Especially against two pro teams. With two pro teams playing? Yeah, not really. And uh, game online.
Yeah, this is gonna be tough for them. I believe this is actually their second loss now, yeah. They're actually already out of this. SFZ is gonna be playing the next match versus Goomba. If FSS then wins that one, Goomba is also essentially out of there already. That means that SFZ is screwed. So for SFZ, everything is on the line there for Goomba. If they win this one, and after that win the match versus game online, they're actually true. Not SFC is still true. So this next game is going to be a very, very hard one, very tough one, since both games, because since both teams need to win this if they want to go second place. Okay, well guys, we'll be going to a small break right now. Make sure that you still follow us here at the channel. You will be able to, you will be eligible then for the Night Stalker immortal bundle in the out of the compendium which is rare to get uh you just have to follow us after the last group size match of the 10th of may i will give it to you so guys we'll see you guys later thank of course to the moderators right now uh Phenomax and rhythm they're doing a great job and well we'll see you guys in about 10 or oh, actually 20 plus minutes by 20 oh wow that match went quickly <laughs>